Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to Gregory Santana's Winners and Losers for October 24th. XLK takes over the lead at 17% for the Alphas. So let's go to the charts and see what happened. And here we are. XLK was right in this zone here yesterday. I did anticipate going into here in this zone here for the uh, to overcome the 268. Remember, we're going after the low fruit of SMT, which is a lost leader. So that said, but look what's going to happen here when I go back. I'm going to look I'm looking up to my um, lost leaders list for the alphas because we have a surprise tonight. We do, we do. So here we are for the alphas. 17% bring to 621. Well exceeds the 268. Yes, we are in profit too. 68 is the loser 621 is the winner we are 350 353 profit ahead and i'm looking to see if there's anybody here i can apply that extra to in the xlk for the alphas it is not so what is going to happen this is a good part what's going to happen is whatever money is left over is going to be applied to this number yeah so there we have a minus 1782 and that, oh, that will bring us down to the XLK only 1429 providing we have get out of this with uh, our profit remember we do have our rules of exit and that's what we're going to be sticking to uh, we are at 17 percent on the marker I'll be looking to moving the stop will probably go midfield right in, right in here somewhere Give it a little more wiggle room and see what happens next. All right. That said, oh, disappointment here on RCL. RCL was doing so good. And what happened? Whoa. Let's go fix this, this framer. And there it is. We have a situation. That's weird. We went up and came down. Well, it is. Now, uh, again, Thinkorswim has a little bit of a problem with that of the night. So we're going to see what it comes up. On um, my sheet over here on the other screen, I'll look at my XL, the RCL. RCL O's. Uh, oh, they're in, I forgot they're in the, they're in the play zone. Yes. They owe 597 and we're behind $10. So we'll keep at it. Uh, let's clean that up so we don't get confusion. Moving on to XLE. XLE is running here at, again, a little high and comes down again. So in the alpha group, it owes 597. It's down at 161. So we overcome the 161, moving in the right direction. Then we'll start working on the 591. That said, PG. Now, remember, PG is a Hail Mary. What is that? Well, a Hail Mary was I failed to set up a proper stop here in this zone. So, and you can see I did some, some analyzing here. And now we have to move everything over because everything is moving over. Uh, okay. That. So, oh, this is sweet. We crossed into the maxi profit zone. We're going into strong stochastics, and our ATR is $2. That's pretty good. So what that means is that PG, who was down here and ready to give up the ghost, has now been moving up, and it's now 354 in arrears on the trade with 0867. And I just anticipate that somewhere in here, we should be crossing into the profit zone. As always, you should see, I did some angle of attack here. This is your medio, this is your moderate rise, but this thing, this thing is going like greedy gangbusters above the 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 um the higher line, higher rate of attack. So um, just do keep on the, the the market will move up on the hail mary. We are on the long long defense. Remember, this is my kicking team up here. This is the midfield team, distance and long distance. So I don't know, in football, that's, I don't know what they call that person who's at the very back of the pack. But that's where they're at. All right, 
that said, this is very encouraging. Quad, oh my goodness, a little disappointment here. Quad was looking so good. A little bit of take back, not much. And remember, this quad had very funny action earlier. You know, those who've been following my videos for the last couple, last, well, actually, uh, I am past, I am, wow, time flies. I started this on, uh, on September 2nd. And we are now fast approaching the end, the middle of the end of October. I'm coming up to two months anniversary on my YouTube. Hey, hey. You know, it took a while. So anyway, quads at 890. And again, we're a little bit in the lagging here for the speed up on the data. But the point is it did do a drop down uh, anticipation. Not much. You know, stochastics dropping off. Could be profit takers. Well, we are going to move up your defense uh, somewhere in here in the mid in the mid zone uh, to protect to get what they call protect capital. So that said, let's go on now to XLV. XLV. Oh yeah, we have we have some delay. So let me go ahead and do a pause here to save you guys some time, and we'll pick up to be we'll unpause as soon as uh, we get our data. All right, we're back. We got our data, and there is our setup, and here is our our uh, we are XLV the health, and this one here is a low hanging fruit. We are shooting on XLV. We're looking for 568 from uh, WebMed. I try to find it. Apparently, it's not around anymore. They will be 568. So XLV the the uh, ETF is going to have to pay that up. No problem. We'll just do it as we've seen. So now we'll come to our XLY, our last one for the alphas. All right, we got our data, and there we are. We're XLY, and it's coming down into the hover zone. It's getting a little bit dangerous, but we do have till January. And depending upon other parameters I use, we'll see if we are going to go for a Hail Mary or just take it. All right, that said, let's go over to the Tigers League and see what's going on with them. So here we are at the Tigers League. What do you have? Two trades. Edison closed out. So let's go see what happened with Edison. To do that, we'll go back and we'll set the, the, the um, marker back to 30 days. And it's not showing up. Nope. Should show up. Let me... Okay. All right. Let me see if I can get this thing to show us the pass. Well, we got in somewhere around five dollars, and we got got taken out of three. We lost two, so it's about a about a two hundred dollar, four hundred dollar drop. And I apologize. I just. This thing is just not cooperating tonight. So, I don't know what to tell you guys. I apologize. Let me go do a reset here and go ahead and try it again. Oh, you know what? Let's go to the Edison chart. We might have the info we need there. Okay. All right, we got our data, and here it is. Now remember, Edison was a put. We're anticipating it down, and we got taken out. And our entry was around 470. Let's see now if we can get the uh, back tester to show us. Uh, uh, there it is, Edison. 457. Three dollars, so we lost a dollar fifty-seven. Let's do the numbers. Dollar fifty-seven. Two contracts, which is two hundred shares in options. Let's see, that ain't gonna work. Let me do that again. I apologize. One fifty-seven. Oh uh, no! You know what? I can't even add correctly. You're right. Yes, guys, I saw it. All right, all right. Cool, cool. You're paying attention. It is 157. I thought it was two. Okay, 157 times the 200. 
So we lost three hundred and fourteen dollars. Edison notice four forty-two. You can see it right there. So this will add to the four forty-two. Edison will then go to seven fifty-six. So seven fifty-six. I will get an accurate number after we figure out commission cost. And that's what it is what it is. And Edison is now heading in the in the in up direction, and I will be looking to see an opportunity getting in. Oh, I have something here. There's a marker right there. So I'll be looking to set up an Edison trade here, see what happens. All righty. That said, let's go ahead and close off this. Our last two positions are UA and UA is right there. And UA owes us. Let's see where UA is at on the tally screen. You, uh, oh, we switched to the Tigers League. I'm on the Alpha League. Oh, seven, oh, there it is, 576. Thank you, guys. To pay, to wait a little more patience from here. So, 576, it's up 12%, $92. So, we're about 20%. But the bottom line is heading in the right direction. We will be moving our defense probably here to the uh, black line. And then maybe gold. We'll see if we can, if we can get to the punchers. Uh, this is a nice, this, this here is not a terribly bad signal. We have a doji in the middle of an up cycle, so it's a possibility we have to take a pause here and then go up. We have till January to make it work. All right, TLT. So what's happened to TLT? Well, TLT, is, remember, TLT is an opposite. In other words, when the market does bad, it goes up. When the market goes good, it goes down. So as you saw, we had some, we had some pretty good, <coughs> excuse me, um, we had some pretty good um, event, uh, percentages on the alpha side, and that's what's happening. So, but you can see the trending is changing here. TLT to put. Oh, that's not good. So I will definitely be looking for a defense around in here somewhere because is this is this is a put. That's what the red line. Now I'm I put the red line there to remind me. Gregory, it's a put. It's a hawk put. Maybe I got to do is write it in big letters like that, that, and then, yeah. I mean, the problem is when you mix up stuff, and here's going to be a little teaching point. When you're mixing calls and puts in the same account, you really got to watch your stuff, and you got to get all, <coughs> excuse me, and you got to get all the help you can by putting on notes in your charts and reminders. Of, of, of what direction you're heading and what direction you want. And when you see something like this trending back up against you, you got to say, okay, fine, I'm going to move my stops on down and protect the uh, protect against loss. Uh, it's only owed $60, and we're 150 so we'll tap it off, make it 200 and still be in play for the return. All right, so uh, – that pretty much that does wrap it up for the uh, Tigers and Loos Tigers and Alpha Leagues for the day. And I thank you very much for attending the winners and losers for October 24, 2019. Thank you all. Be well and talk to you tomorrow. Bye.